episode 50, yep, episode 50 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. So what are we doing tonight? We're doing, quite by coincidence, uh, a sequel to, uh, uh, to episode 5. So back, way back in episode 5, we did um, a whole bunch of movie tie-ins, games that were called the same thing as a movie, but didn't really have a lot in common with the plot. Maybe. Some did, some didn't. And I have a feeling that's what we might get tonight. We've got a whole bunch of obscure... I mean, the films are obscure, but I looked at them and said, what, they made a game out of that? So, um, yeah, let's get cracking, shall we, and see, see what uh, I have such delights to show you. There's, there's not a Hellraiser game that I found. Um, okay, so, without any further ado then, let's, uh, let's get over there. Whoop. And um, we're going to play them, as always, alphabetically by system. Um, so we're starting with the Atari Lynx. So we don't do the Atari Lynx very often. Um... But yeah, let's see what we've got, shall we? Ah, so, Atari Lynx, the battery chomper of its day. In fact, we've got some Game Gear later on, which was also a battery chomper. Let's have a look, let's have a look. So on the Atari Lynx, we're going to be starting with Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Dude. Um, so, what sort of game do we think it's going to be? Oh. Well, that screen suggests to me that it's... I was going to say based on the cartoon series of the same name. But I'll, I'll, well, I won't. I'll just... We'll see what happens, shall we? Let's make it the proper size for, or, or a better size for you. Uh, yes, indeed. Chat, strange things are indeed afoot at the Circle K. Because um, it was such a small screen, it's going to be a little blocky for you. Um, let's just turn that down a little bit. It doesn't sound very well, Stallions, anyway, does it? And let's, um, let's just, like... Wish that I'd turned on my oh dear. Let's turn on the pad and then uh, connect up. See what happens. Nope, not a TARDIS in the least. Here we go. Not keyboard. Okay, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Let's see what we get. Okay. So. Oh, what a weird angle. <laughs> um, he looks like... <laughs> he looks like he's running backwards like that. So I only appear to have one... Oh, what was that? Right, I've got an inventory. Oh, it still feels a bit loud for me, that. Hope I've not turned it too far down for you. Um, so is this... Uh, is, oh, well... I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. But there's a musical note there. I wonder if I can collect that. If I've gone the wrong way. Oh, the angles on it are just awful. Excellent. So, okay, so we're supposed to collect them. That's good. Good of us. Good of it to tell us. 
Think we can get through there? Nope. So if we're talking about authorised citizens then, are we in the future then? Oh, can we talk to these people? Apparently not. Okay. Okay, so we've got another note. So let's go around there. It's almost like this would have been the uh, a good of, might have worked on our maze episode. Right. Well. Bogus. I see. So we're in Egypt. Yes, yes, chat. It is a bit shit, in it. Um, however, you wanted um, an extended playthrough of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, so I'm, I'm happy to do that for you. We need to go back to where all the notes are, don't we? Not quite sure what we're collecting them for, like. There's nothing on screen that says, you need 10 more notes. Don't even have a life count either, so I don't really know. So perhaps hoping I could pick up the guitar and use it to attack the scarabs. Surely it can't be just avoid them, can it? Or do you have to creep around so they can't see you? I don't really know how they work. Hashtag would not recommend. I want a f I, 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 Look, I know Bill and Ted don't use guns. But I want something... Maybe they could throw something at them. Get off me! He don't he doesn't move fast enough to get out of the way of the scarabs. I'm gonna throw something in a minute, it won't be shade. How can I, how can I be? Oh, what have I done? All right. So I'm guessing that's pause, but it doesn't even say pause. I can't even be Bill. Ted, Ted.
Okay. Oh! 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 What? Right, so. Then. Oh, tits. Um, <laughs> it appears you can run. Not that one, the other one. Come on. Problem is, when you run... Oh, I wasn't even touching that then. You can't control him as well when, he, when he's running. Gonna follow me. Oh no, I've come out and don't need to quiet, I need to go back in. Because there's one there. I'd run past it then. I wasn't anywhere near it. Did they spit venom or something? It's got a scratch. Oh, that's a shame. I know, so I wanted to play it for ages and ages. Oh. Uh, well, there you go. That was Bill and Ted on the Atari Lynx. Now I feel that there might be Bill and Ted games on different systems that um, aren't this game. But that's 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 for the sequel. Um. All right, but let's see where we're moving on to next. Oh, we're moving on to another smash hit super duper film. Box Office Gold. Um, our, our next game is the movie tie-in on the Game Boy Advance of Catwoman. Halle Berry's Catwoman. Ah, uh, why? Why do we do it to ourselves? Why? Um, let's make sure your screen's right so you can see all of it in all its glory. I wouldn't want you to miss a single pixel. There you go. Ah. <sighs> I have no idea what it's going to be like. Catwoman's got an empty slot. Mm.
Okay. Jump, jumpy, jumpy, climby, jump, climb, whip. And that's it. Okay. Do we jump over this, do you think? Yeah, we do. Do we fall off the... Ooh, ooh. You've picked up a silvery ball. Didn't look like cream. Do I keep dropping off this building until I, something bad happens? I need to get up there, do I? It's saying, hey, idiot. Why did you jump down there when you need to jump up here? How can I jump up there now? <laughs> oh, there's something pretty. Yeah, isometric jumping. Don't you love it? Fuck I say fry fry stupid Oh Do I go back to start? Oh referee Surely I should just be able to grab it. Why can't I just grab it? Twice I've nearly fallen off that freaking roof. Come on, this time. No, what are you doing? No bad. Oh, I can't chop myself off even if I wanted to. Just means you're gonna have to watch me do it until until um, we get there," said the vicar to the actress. Oh, oh dear! What's this? It's just water. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, now will it let me uh, drop back to where we were? It will. in trouble now, aren't they? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, 
where's she off to now? I'm not controlling that. That flashback. Don't take that long to read five days ago. Come on. Is that supposed to be Halle Berry? Miss Phillips, why are you stroking your pussy at work? Trying to work through the story as quick as I can, but I'm not having any control over it. It just does it as it wants. We couldn't be asked drawing a new picture. Is it going to actually make you play as... Uncatwoman. Oh, oh, I could control that one. Like he's watching Paul on a big monitor behind him. It's a bit unfortunate. Huh? Huh? Armando. Well. Um, uh, uh, well, no, close to my money, it's not actually that big for a starter. <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> right. Nope, climb the wall. There we go. It let me see if it do that, but doesn't let me climb up the wall. Does she need to stand by one of those fans? She's having a hot flush. Keep missing the uh, 
in the top one. Come on. There we go. No, no, no. I don't want you to go back down again. No, no. No. Go this way. Go that way. In our bed. Come on. Oh. Effity Jeff. There we go. in slow motion every now and again. Training mission. Oh, now it gets complicated. Oh, that's not complicated. You just use the same button. I think even I, even I can manage that. So much to say. So much to say. Swinging poles. Thought I'd have to whip them, to be honest with you. Now what? More poles. See how we get on. Um, oh. Time's ticking on. We don't have as many games as normal, but we don't want to spend all night just playing these ones, do we? So, let's move on from Catwoman and um, move on to the Marvel Universe now. 
uh, as we move to the Fantastic Four. Um, yes, that one. Not the more modern one. So, which I quite liked. Got a critical panning, but I didn't mind it. Um, b b b fantastic Four. Fantastic. There we go. Look at that. Marvelicious. Um, so this and the uh, the rise of the Silver Surfer were options, but I thought we'd go with the first one first. Oh, you have to excuse me if I'm rubbing my hands. It's a bit cold in the uh, in the studio tonight. I don't know why. It's nearly bloody March. It's not a noise I expected to hear from a Fantastic Four game. Ah, uh, right. What's Chewbacca doing in bloody... I know they're all owned by the same people now, but... Oh, how the hell fucks it's coming along? Oh, we're screwed. Um. Well, I don't think I'm controlling this guy, so... Ben, no! Oh. All right. Now what? Sounds ominous. Why is there a table in the middle of the room? Ah, uh, stand that to it and then double tap the control pad you're facing in. It's a bit violent, Reed. Rather odd is a, a vast understatement. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this also. Do we pick that up? She, she picked that up, did she? All oh, right, fair enough. That's fine. That's fine. Hacking puzzle. Oh, successfully hacked a computer terminal. Complete the circuit by matching the top object with the bottom object. What? I'm assuming it's going to be quite easy. Oh, 
All right, what am I doing? Oh. Well, that's that. Oh, bugger. So, oh, oh, hang on, then, do I? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I keep punching the missus in the face. That's bad, that, I shouldn't do that. On, Sue, how do I change person then? Am I Sue now? Oh, okay, gotcha. And then, oh, nope, not that one. Ah, uh, here we go. the R button and the B button. Okay. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything cosmic about that. I don't think I sneaked past the cameras, do you? But... Whoa! We're gonna use force field now, aren't we? Well, ah, Captain America.
See, if he's on fire, then the face talking should be on fire as well, shouldn't it, really? Oh, I'm not controlling that. Is that the one we came in in? Oh. That's the one that opened up. Let's go through it. Here we go. I press the R and the B button. Okay. So I know my. I know I don't feel that's pretty cosmic. pick us stuff up come on not sure what he's doing there well look I feel we've probably spent enough time on the the three games that we've played so far. Uh, when we have ten to cover, uh, we need to be at least five uh, in the next quarter of an hour. So uh, let's move on to our next one. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Super worried now that I've just spent the last 10 minutes playing uh, Fantastic Four and you've been watching a screen of Catwoman. Oh no, it does say, Cap it does say Fantastic Four. All right, all right. It's been a long day, a bit tired. Um, so Herbie, fully loaded. He's got chili, cheese, sour cream. Everything on him. So as uh, as expected, it's a racing game. So why would it be anything else for her to be fully loaded? There's not a Lindsay Lohan in sight. Oh, do you know what I just did? I just restarted. I've got two Herbies running. One second. Jesus. So busy panicking about Fantastic Four. Here we go. I can see it now. So, where were we? Chili cheese. All that sort of stuff. We're going to do free race in the hope that it doesn't take as long. Don't think there'll be an awful lot to say on this one. Yeah, it's just going to be a racing game, isn't it? 
and one hopes that Herbie's got special powers. Oh, he's going to need special powers. Don't go very fast. Should have got that blue star, shouldn't I? No, that's not funny. What the shit? Right, no more yellow stars. Yellow stars, bad. Never catch up now. Right. That's is that what the stars are for? Too far away to use them now, but um jump as well. I wonder if I can use that to get back on the course when I'm shit. Oh no. I can't see any benefit of that one. Do I go a bit faster maybe? It's a very humorous, humorous joke. Long running uh, joke about my driving. Um, thank you, Nutty Cluster, for, uh, for biting your tongue and bringing it up whilst saying you're not going to bring it up. It's, you know, it's fine. Fine. And that was uneasy. Let's have another go. Now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, why not selected? Come on. Oh no.
I wish it was like a blue shell. Look at that, tits. Started off so well. Seen enough. Yeah, 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 I have seen enough. That was so be fully loaded, and that was our last uh, Game Boy Advanced game. Uh, we're moving on to the Game Gear now. Um, with um, a, a, another game that um, I feel might be different on different systems. Yes, yes I do. And these screens are tiny. So before I increase the size of your screen, let me increase it for here so I can... Here we go. Terminator 2! Oh yes. We're going to... Uh, play some Game Gear Terminator 2. See what they made of it. Because obviously back in those days, you just... You paid to have the name of the film and then hoped you could come up with a game. The story. Do we do we do we need a story? Can't skip past oh I can't maybe I can skip past it. Oh I can. Alright, what have we got? Punch, jump. Oh. I need your clothes and your motorcycle. And your boots. He's already got them though. Is it not going to let me get past them tonight? A lot of punks in there, isn't there? Punky McPunkerson. Oh, I'm in the middle of them. I don't want to jump up there. Is that it? It's just got a punch. Where's his Uzi 9mm? supposed to avoid that other than jumping it I suppose Perhaps I need to stay up up here so the motorcycles can't get me. Oh, I need to go back. Why do I need to go back? You have to kill them all, dear. Is that it? Quite repetitive music, isn't it, really? Oh, and it changed just because I said that. That arrow's annoying.
No, 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 go right. No, no, go left. No, no, go right. Oh, he's a big fella. Wow. How am I supposed to get in then? Am I supposed to hit him and then move away like that? Wow, if he catches you with a bloody hit, you've had it. Wow. Finds out a corner. Yay! Got a gun, got a gun. I assume... I assume Sarah Connor's... We usually run right to uh, left to right, and so do we have to go in at some of these? Oh, oh no! Got to check each of these. Right, got to go to every single room. Are you joking me? I mean, it's telephone in the next one, you would assume it's not that one. So maybe I should be looking up as well. A bit late now. Don't have a lot of energy left. It's not looking good for old Termy. They're all very samey, these rooms, aren't they? Don't know what interior decorator they're paid, but... as good a time as any to move on to our next Game Gear game and our next Game Gear game is also an Arnold film um, it's uh, True Lies there you go Sega ah <sighs> So let's see what we get with True Lies and see if it's anything uh, akin to um, to Minute 2. Ah.
Right, so this feels a little bit like the heart, the uh, Die Hard game. Oh, why can't I shoot him? Okay. Looking for a computer room, aren't I? I guess. Oh, don't shoot. Okay. Does that mean I'm dead? Oh, I'm not dead. So only shoot people carrying guns. I mean, seems a legit life lesson, I guess. Just wasted a bullet. Okay, I've got whatever pingly dingly thing I needed to get then. Is that a computer? Nope. Uh, am I going back the way I came? Is there another way out? Nope, let's go my way. Nearly shot another civilian then. Oh, but I died. got to take all these somewhere. Right, how do I get to that? get to it by going that way do I so this isn't the room I wanted to get is it Well, these messages from my mate stay on screen an awfully long time. <laughs> Come on, fella. I've heard you.
Well, they're just they're getting in the way of spy work. Civilians. Is that a key card to get in here? No. And that's a point. I don't drop all these when I die, do I? And have to go back and pick them all up. I've not really noticed if I have. I'm dead now anyway. Oh yeah, but now I have to remember which way I bloody came in. I mean, are all the bad guys already dead? That would be nice. How did you get in here? We need a card. Can you play the piano? No. Okay, where do we need to go now? That look. Hey! Yeah, the music is quite irritating, isn't it? Wow, no noticeable slowdown when there's more than one character on screen. Just wondering if I could get out without having to shoot anybody else. Gonna have to shoot him just to speed up the bloody screen. Shit. Oh, I'm dead. Nice. Uh, oh, what an ending. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, the music is irritating. My... Um, My earphones are squeezing my ear for some reason. Um, okay. Let's move. Nope. Let's move uh, on now. Um, let me start this second bunch. Right. We're moving to the NES. The N-E-S. Yes bank that likes to say yes and what we're going to do is um it feels weird to me that some of these games are first films that i wouldn't have expected a kid to be interested in and let's face it when the nest came out it, it was a kids toy uh, it is it is was it is a kids toy um but uh the untouchables is on there massive screen let me shrink it back down for you 
The Untouchables on the NES. Uh, not only that, but by Ocean Software, who, by golly, I've played an Ocean game or two on my Spectrum. Wow. Um, so let's see what sort of game it is and what it does. Shoot the gangsters. Alrighty then. Oh no, that's that's horrible. Is this a light gun game? I can't <laughs> can't aim with the bloody pad. It feels like it's a light gun game. I, I'm not blaming the tools at all, madam. I'm saying that perhaps this game is supposed to be played with different equipment. And do you know what I'm just going to do? I'm going to have a quick look and see. Oh, it was. It did come out on the Spectrum. It was a Spectrum game as well. Yeah, it doesn't say that it uses a... Uh... Ah, there you go. There you go. Right, so... Electronic Gaming Monthly said uh, of the, uh, S, the SNES version that the title would have been better if it was Super Scope compatible. It's a bit difficult to use the pad during the shooting sequences. So there you go. Um, and that was... That was the SNES. That wasn't even the NES. So, ah, oh. um, look, I don't think I'm going to be able to play it, but I'm willing to give it another go. Yes, yes, Lady Gloucester, a bit difficult, not impossible. I don't see how you can I don't see how you can lean out and we're done i don't think i can do it the justice that you'd want me to do it so so yeah no, no more no more let me have a look at the list see what's next uh also a weird option in fact this could actually be a film i don't if i have seen it i can't remember that i've seen it so it can't have had that much of uh, an impact on me um, but on the Mega Drive, we're going to have a look at the Robin Williams film, Toys. Um, again, don't know what to expect at all. Uh, let's make sure it's the right size for you guys to see. Actually, if we just pull it down a little bit, we should be fine. Ah, <sighs> So... Thank you. 
Okay. Sneak into the west bed door and knock out the elephant head security cameras. All right. Potential bad guy. Enough story. All right, we don't have a jump. Yeah, we have to avoid them. Can we peanut gun him? Maybe we can. Not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Right, we've got to the end here. We can't go any further. Oh, we can go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, You know, I was complaining about the arrow in um, Terminator telling you which way to go. Ah, I really like it about now. Wow, what was that? Oh, that's what it was. Well, they're quite shooty, then. You need to hit the elephant head security camera. Yes. Why did you see a, um, a security camera? Don't know they are. Picking them up anyway. See, not a camera. Right, so that's that's an elephant head, but doesn't look like a camera. probably said go west or something and I've just ignored that oh, stupid game
So, I can't do anything. I can change what weapon I've got. And then use that weapon. I can't do anything else. Oh, my back. <sighs> well, do you know what? I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere with this. I'm going all the way around the edges. In case I've missed something. I mean, is that is are they, are they elephant head cameras packed by the tanks? Yeah, look. So the green thing there looks like it might be. But I can't get near. Going to move on to the um, Sony PSP now. Um, also, a nice um, emulation on the Steam Deck. Um, that and the Game Boy Advance games on the Steam Deck. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so, we're going to play. And by play, I mean I'm going to have my ass handed to me. Um, we're going to play some Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. So not only is this show a sequel, we're playing a sequel video game. Boom. There we are. So... We don't need no profile. Right, hang on. Let's, let's shoot you shoot. Okay, told you I'd get my ass handed to me. So I've only got one shoulder cannon, is that it? Is that what we're saying? How do I shoot the cannon? Right, so how do I aim the cannon? Right, shoulder buttons are camera.
Stay down. I don't know which one X is because I've got a different controller. Oh, wrong one. Where? Ah. No. Oh, there's a lot of them. Shit. I wish I could use my cannon properly. Can I take much more, Captain? Ah, uh, did. <sighs> Go on. It took me long enough to mess around with the bloody. Well, there you go. I think you've seen me die enough um, on Aliens vs Predator. Um, I'm rushing through them a little bit because I know time's a ticking. Um, but my back's aching as well. So, we've given each game, except for the starting, we've given each game roughly, roughly somewhere between six and eight minutes, except for the Untouchables, uh, which, which only got two. Uh, but we're going to move into our last uh, game now. Um, we're going to move into uh, the the snares 
3DS, uh, Super Nintendo, and we're going to play a little bit of Judge Dredd, the movie. Not Judge Dredd, the comic book. Um, ba -doom, ba -doom. Let's have a look. Judge Dredd. Here we go. Acclaim. Oh. Have a look. Jump. Oh, oh, all four buttons. Okay. What are you crawling around for, mate? So, do I need to do something with these doors that are open? That looks like it might be a lift. Oh, it's a ladder. All right. Oh, up in there. Did I just die? There's something, ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't be in front of those when they go off as well, by the looks of it. going on? What's killing me? See, what's that movement? really want to go down there I seem to die oh what's going on there all right it's down here then isn't it funny
Right, now we're... That was the first set of butt cheeks then. Oh, yeah, did I, yeah, right. Oh, do you know what? Maybe I need to start these streams a little earlier because, uh, probably aware by the end of these i'm just i've had enough i've had enough judge dread i'm done with you mate oh. um right then that was our last that was our last game in um movie tie-ins which it does us um until the the trilogy the 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 um the threequel the squeakquel um where we're gonna have movie tie-ins three uh, at some point um but for now it can be removed from the wheel the wheel I hear you say yes the wheel let's move to the wheel okay so here we go. It's getting a little, um, a little sparse. Um, but let's see what we get for next week for episode 51. Fighting. Wow. Fighting was episode three. So way back in episode three, we did a bunch of fighting games. And in episode 51, we'll be doing a bunch more. A bunch of fives. That's what we'll be doing. Uh, wow, okay. Interesting. Bye-bye, wheel. Bye-bye. Let's go back to the big screen. Uh to say goodbye and thank you thank you for joining us thank you if you're watching live on twitch on a monday from seven o'clock thank you sincerely thank you um and if you're watching on youtube also thank you please can you subscribe and like and comment and and ring the bell and share share if you could turn back time you'd share this sooner but you can't so Please share. If you know somebody who uh, likes retro games, somebody who may want to, you know, want to message us and say, hey, why don't you play this? Or play these types of games or something like that. Or, hey, I want to see how shit you are at these games. Just share it. Just share it. Tell them to give us a shout at retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's the way of getting hold of us. Um, you could go to the website snugradio.co.uk uh, but we're also, like I say, YouTube and Twitch that's where the video is it's all the video stuff um, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok all those places, ask Snug Radio and if you really want, really, really want you can join our Discord server it's the Discord server for the Snug Radio podcasting network but there's loads of retro lounge stuff there retro lounge there's loads of retro lounge stuff um, come and join join the fun and um, yeah we'll maybe see you there but like I say Snug Radio everywhere I, I think I think that's it I've, there are no more places for you to get hold of us uh, so until next time when we're fighting have a great week 
I've been Matt. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Bye.